Hello everyone, and welcome to another Pathfinder Adventure Card Game Scenario. We are on Scenario B3, the basic level, Scenario 3, over at the Earthworks location. We're at this location. On your check that has the electricity trait, remove any one die. And the character is Drelm, so we will go ahead and start the campaign. Start the adventure, I should say. So we will advance the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of Beset. And the first thing we encounter is a Flash Freeze, Intelligence Craft. Uh, Drelm does not have Craft. His Intelligence is a D6. So um, it does not have Electricity. So we will go ahead and roll. We rolled a 4. So we do not acquire this boon. It gets banished. Uh, advancing the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of Horus. Uh, Drelm's hand is fine. And wow, we get another porcupine. Okay, we encountered a porcupine last adventure. So let's see if the porcupine joins our motley band here. Band of one. So roll the two. Uh, drum had a wisdom of D8. So uh, the porcupine once again shuns drum. Okay, advancing the blessings deck. It's a curse of poisoning. So the curse of poisoning came up. Uh, we will acquire that. But fortunately, in Drum's hand, he has a Remove Curse spell, which he's going to use right away. He's going to recharge the Remove Curse. We get rid of the Curse of Poisoning. Okay, well, that's the benefit of being Drum. And we will explore. Okay, we get a Scarab sw uh, Swarm. So it says here, we did not examine the card. There's no electricity here. So the difficulty to defeat is increased by twice the scenario's adventure deck number. This is the basic scenario, so there's no check. So if defeated by less than four and the check to defeat does not have the fire trait, we have to shuffle this monster back into the deck. So we don't have the fire trait, unfortunately. So we are just going to go ahead and uh, Drum's going to use his Explorer's Staff, which is his melee plus 1d6. He gets to add plus two to this roll. So we're just going to keep that. That's all we're going to do. Uh, let's see what we get. So we rolled a 10 and 11. So we rolled a total of 13. But since we don't have the fire trait, unfortunately, it just gets shuffled back into the deck. So it's an interesting uh, time waster of a card, unfortunately. So we are going to roll to see which card is on top of the location deck. So now we have the option of we have a blessing of the elements in our hand, but we want to keep that. We're going to reset our hand. Okay, we got two blessings now in our hand. We're going to advance the blessings deck and we're going to explore. Okay, we get a camouflaged pit trap. So Drelm has his power here. We're on your check against a card that has the obstacle trait. You may add your divine skill, but it is not an obstacle. Okay, so so much for that. Wisdom Perception is a D8 for Drum, or he has Dexterity Acrobatics D6. Okay, so we'll go for the D8. So we're rolling a D8 here, assembling our dice. Uh, let's see. If undefeated, we'll do 1D4 combat damage, then end your turn. Hmm. Well, we do have a Scarab Buckler in our hand, so we'll just go with it. We're feeling like taking a risk here. Okay, so we rolled a 4 for our uh, wisdom and uh, we needed a 6 so we are now going to take 1d4 combat damage so rolling a d4 here let's pick this one here okay wow so look at that we take 4 points of damage so we do have a scare buckler we can recharge it to reduce combat damage by 3 we can play another armor if we had one but we don't so then for damage, I'll lose the Blessing of the Ancients. It says, so if undefeated, so then we just have to end our turn. And since we didn't defeat it, it gets shuffled back into the location deck. Okay, wow. That's pretty annoying. Okay, so we got losing some time here. Three, six, seven, so there's eight cards in the location deck. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth card is there. I was just randomly determining which card is in the location deck. Um, I do have a cure spell in my hand, but I think I'm going to keep that for now. We will reset Drum's hand. 
now we will advance a blessing deck. It's a blessing of the set. And we will explore, and we get this villain. Okay. So it's a dragon undead mummy electricity. And since it is electricity, we're going to have to remove a die when we do these uh, checks. So we have to do two combat 10 checks. He's immune to ele electricity, mental, and poison. Before you act, succeed at a wisdom or perception 7 check or will dealt 1 electricity damage. So, let's see. Drelm's wisdom is D8. Um, well, well, we will risk that. So, rolling a D8 here. Okay, so we rolled a four. So we did not succeed at that. We have to take one point of damage. So since this is the villain, we're going to go all out here. We're going to lose the cure spell is damage because I think we're going to be able to defeat him on two checks. Because it's very fortunate that Drum has two weapons in his hand. So for the first weapon, the first check, we don't have the fire trait. Otherwise, we'd be able to add a, a die. So that kind of sucks. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a Kopish. We're going to use the Strength of Melee skill, so it's uh, Strength of Melee skill is D8, D D10 and a D8. If proficient with weapons, you may additionally discard this card to add one to each die you roll and the bludgeoning trait. Okay, so we can at least add one to the roll. And we're going to use the Blessing of the Elements on this check. For the Blessing of the Elements, we're going to roll an additional D10. But since we have to remove a die, we're going to remove the D8. Okay, so we're rolling two D10. And we get to add a total of our melee skill as a plus two modifier. And since we're rolling two dice, thanks to the Kopish, we add another two. So we're adding four to this roll. Okay, so we rolled three and eight plus four is 12. So we succeeded at the first check. Now for the second check, we're going to use the Explorer's Staff. So we're going to use our Strength and Melee skill plus 1d6, and we're going to discard this card to add another d6, which we have to remove due to the earthworks. So it's strength, which is d10, and the melee, which is a d6. And we get to add two to this roll. This roll will be a little more challenging. Let's see if we do it. And, all right, so we rolled a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we failed by one. So that means we have to take one point of damage, and we are going to lose the crowbar as damage. Okay, so that really, really sucked because the villain goes back into the deck and we lost all of our weapons. Not only did we lose all of our weapons, but we also um, we lost our cure spell because we went all out. Okay, so, so much for that. We have to reset our hand. Okay, okay, all right, all right. I think we still have a chance here. Looking at the hand, we're advancing the blessings deck and we're going to explore. Okay, the, camoufla the camouflaged pit trap is back. So, hmm, we're just gonna we're just gonna go straight up uh, wisdom, D eight. All right, hey, look at that drone. He learned. He learned from the camouflage pit trap. And what's cool is, if defeated, you may explore your location. Okay, we might regain some time here. Okay, we get a catching cape. Exciting. Uh, craft knowledge. Okay, Drum does not have craft or knowledge, but he does have constitution, which is D6. Okay, I'd like to get, I'd like to acquire this card. Let's see what happens here. So we rolled a three. Nope, it is banished. Okay, the hand is looking good. We're going to advance the blessings deck and we're going to explore. Okay, he's back. Okay, so the reason why I was feeling pretty good is in my hand I have an acid jet spell and a whip and a Blessing of the Ancients. So the first thing we have to do is make that Wisdom check. So we do want to make it this time. We want to make, we want to roll a 7 or an 8 on this D8. Oh, check that out. We rolled the 8. Okay, so we don't have to take the damage. So, we don't have any fire, uh, any fire attacks or options, so we can't add a die. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to use this whip. So we uh, have to roll our strength or melee skill plus 1d6 and what we're going to do uh, Constructor Ooze it's a dragon undead mummy electricity. Just seeing if I had any options here. 
Okay, so we're going to try this. We're going to go ahead, if we're shooting the image, it's going to, so we can evade the bane. So this is pretty cool. This is an interesting option. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to keep this for the second attempt. The first attempt, I think I'm going to use the acid jet spell. So we can use our divine skill, which is D8 plus 3, <coughs> excuse me, and a 1D6. So we can roll a D8 plus 3. And, hmm, D8 plus 3. <coughs> Let me see what we want to do here. D8 plus 3. You know, I don't know what to use first, the whip or the acid jet. Because with the acid jet, we can, we're only rolling a D8 plus 3. Because we have to lose the D6. And I have a blessing of the ancients. So should I roll the 2D10? Hmm, I think here's what I'm going to do this it's going to be kind of a gamble i'm using the blessing of the ancients with the acid jet spell so that means i'm going to be able to roll 2d8 plus a d6 i have to lose the d6 so it's going to be 2d8 using acid jet we're going to roll 2d8 and we are adding plus three to the roll all right so we rolled a seven eight nine ten right on the dot awesome we're going to do a quick check to see if we recharge our acid jet spell. So, and we do. We do recharge the acid jet spell. Okay, so we made the first check. But now we have to make the second check using the whip. So all it is is the strength, which is D10. So that's all we got is D10. We have to lose the D6 due to his electricity trait. So it's only going to be a D10, and we're adding two to the roll. Wow. Okay. Fortunately, I do have a feather of mat, so basically I have to roll a 7, 8, 9, 10 on a d10 in order to make this last check. So I rolled a 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard the whip, we're going to discard, discard, and we're going to evade the bane. Okay, so that kind of sucked. We had some options. But uh, three, four, five, so there's six cards left in the location deck. I don't think Drum's going to be getting through this one. So, let's see. Rolling a D6 to see which card is on top. It's the fourth card. One, two, three, four. We're going to reset Drum's hand. He still has some uh, cards in his hand, but he really doesn't have anything that's going to help him defeat the villain. Advancing the Blessings deck. We get Dry Quicksand. So this time we can use Drome's power, because on a check that has the obstacle trait, we can add our divine skill. So we're going to roll a d6, and we're going to roll a d8, and we're going to add 3 to this roll. Okay, so the uh, dry quicksand is easily stopped. We are now going to advance the blessings deck, and we're going to explore. We get a Thomit Clansman. So uh, Drum's Divine is Wisdom plus 3, so D8 plus 3. Okay, so we rolled an 8. So this is interesting because we can add D6 to a check against a card that has a trigger trait. And the villain actually has the trigger trait. So we're going to keep him, we are going to lose or remove Curse spell. And we are going to advance the Blessings deck. It's the final card in the uh, Blessings deck. Oh, check it out. He's back. Okay, so this is interesting because first we have to do that Wisdom Perception check. We're going to do it. And we fail. Uh, did the, well, we can use the Crocodile Skin Armor. So it says here we can uh, recharge it to reduce the electricity damage. So now here is our quandary because... Um, so now we have to do two combat checks. So I don't have any weapons in my hand. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a straight up uh, strength melee. I'm going to do a strength melee check. And I'm going to use the Thaumit Clansman. I can recharge him. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I thought he had the trigger trait, but he doesn't. So, hmm. So our options are really, really limited. So basically, let's see if the camel can help us out. We can bury this card to evade a monster. Uh, okay, so we'll just go ahead and use the camel. We have to bury it. We have to evade the villain because there's no way that Drelm 
can uh, defeat this villain. So it's interesting. So we failed that uh, adventure because it was the last card in the location deck. So let's go ahead. So what happens here is this is going to be kind of like some new uncharted territory. Because even though, and this is kind of what I want because I want the adventures to be a little more challenging. So let's do a quick deck check here for Drum. So did he gain any uh, boons? So what's interesting is that he's going to have to go back to the Earthworks and he's going to have to do this adventure again. The question, so here's his 15 card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the new loot he gained, so he did gain the Fomit Klansman. So the question is, is does he keep this dwarf cleric and return to the earthworks so we will have to do this scenario over it was really close really challenging i'm really happy that drum survived he, he had a lot of shenanigans with the whip and with the camel so he could evade and escape so it's interesting i'm going to see if i want to keep the clansmen and if so i would have to get rid of the camel uh, and we will just go ahead and try to do this adventure over. All right. Well, I'll have that uh, scenario up a little later. Going to take a break here. But uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.